I'm Matt Noyce. Tuesday Insights, that deeper dive into the meteorology behind the forecast, why the forecast is shaping up the way it is. And here's what we're going to talk about coming up. Look, we have fire crews that are out battling brush fires, particularly the one that's going on the North Shore. You are going to get some wind that comes in both tonight, Tuesday night, and again on Wednesday night. We're going to take a look at that here in a second. We're reaching for Halloween record warmth still. The snow and storms that are coming are coming into the western and central United States, not here, but we'll look at that. And a cooler air is going to arrive here by the time we get to the weekend. A reminder that particularly with the shifting wind that we have coming up over the next couple of days, and this applies including our fire crews. If you grab our app, just do a search for noise. It's noise is one degree outside weather. But even if you type in noise on the App Store, Google Play, download the app. You can pinpoint your location. So you can actually pinpoint it into some of these fire areas and see what is the wind direction and speed going to look like hourly going out through 48 hours in that hourly forecast, of course, the 14-day as well. In terms of the overview on the wind, I can tell you that by this evening, we've got gusts are going to 40 miles per hour on the Champlain Valley. And, of course, a lot of New England is very, very dry, and that means that a lot of us have that elevated fire danger. But here's what I mean about overnight tonight. Notice just past midnight, it's a south-southeasterly wind. There's some good news to that, which is it's a little bit more moist breeze that's coming in, right? It comes in off the ocean. It's transporting in some slightly more humid air. But... Nonetheless, the conditions remain dry and your gusts are going to go up to 30 miles per hour briefly during the overnight tonight. Then during the day tomorrow, actually the wind dies down a little bit and picks up again overnight tomorrow night. Take a look. You've got widespread gusts over 20 miles per hour, this time mostly coming out of the south. Thursday is the day that we've got the warmth in place and the wind likely will kick up Thursday evening ahead of the cold front that changes the air and turns it a bit breezy again on Friday, but a new direction coming out of the west-northwest. We're not alone in the fire danger. There's elevated uh, fire spread conditions across the Midwest, just south of Chicago, also across the Plain States, right up to the front range of the Rocky Mountains. So it's been a dry nation. The last 24 hours have not helped that at all. There really has been very little precipitation across the nation, a little bit that was organizing the Great Lakes, and that's what we'll get tonight, which I'll explain here in just a second. Notice the snow out in the Rockies. So basically what's happening is the energy we looked at over the last couple of days in the Pacific Northwest is now arriving to the nation's midsection. As it makes that storm, it's got snow on the backside and thunderstorms out ahead of it. We are too far removed for any of that. So instead, what we get are some clouds today as the milder air starts to come in and collides with cool air aloft. Then the showers that we talked about in the one degree outside today video, the 24 hour forecast, those will come in for late today, this evening, and tonight. Spreading in from west to east, total rainfall amounts about a quarter to half an inch in northern New England and more like a tenth to two tenths of an inch when you get into southern New England. Not a lot, but it's something that'll help. So the wind kicks up tonight, but the rain comes down. That at least helps to moisten things up a little bit. And again, that means when the wind kicks tomorrow night, things will be a little bit more moist. So we are at least heading in a somewhat positive direction in that regard, even though it's not that much in the way of rain. It's a pretty good amount of snow in the mountains out across the Rockies. Any of the purple you see is about a foot to 18 inches of snow. More widespread is about one to four inches of snow that comes down when you get outside of the higher terrain. But the snow season is well underway out there. And a sign that there's colder air available in the country. It's just for now, mostly out west. You can see we're still out ahead of the cold front on Thursday, which means we are still mild. And the thunderstorms that will come with this system may turn severe, particularly tomorrow across the nation's midsection. But again, too far removed here in New England to have to worry about anything with that. You will get a couple of showers Friday morning or Thursday night into Friday morning as a cold front comes through. But out ahead of it, well into the 70s, some of us pushing 80 during the course of Halloween day. Day by day in terms of the map and how things come with the features, the uh, showers that we get tonight into early tomorrow morning are a warm front. So this is opening the door to the milder air. It's the reason that tomorrow we're into the 70s. Thursday, as I mentioned, we're up near 80, and then here comes the cold front. That swings in Thursday night into Friday morning. There will likely be some scattered showers on Friday morning. They will also likely be gone by Friday afternoon. And once again, at this point, it does not look like a lot of rain. In fact, you probably get more tonight out of the showers that come in on the leading edge of the warm air than you do by the time we get to Thursday night and Friday as the warm air comes to an end. And then you just get more cool, dry air that's in for the weekend. Day by day, high temperatures Wednesday running into the uh, lower 70s for many. Not yet in northern New England, but you'll get there by Halloween. Notice Wednesday night, we stayed mild with that southerly breeze that we looked at together. Thursday, we're up around 80. The records are generally 79 to 82, so we're going to challenge records across the area. By the time we get to Friday, you're starting to change the air. That cold front comes through in the morning, opens the door to the cooler air. Notice Saranac Lake is at 56 degrees on Friday. Most of us come up near 70, but by Saturday, that's far gone. Saturday, it's going to be that cool, dry, crisp fall air. 
and that's going to stay with you through the weekend. Again, you know what? If you'd like to support us and grab some of the swag, feel free to do it. Swag.1DegreeOutside.com. We appreciate those of you who have done just that. That's how the insights look for today. Hope this uh, kind of sheds some light on why the weather forecast looks the way it does. You can always check with us for updates, 1DegreeOutside.com, or grab that app. You'll see all the updates right at the top of the home screen.